This is a quick tutorial for lecturers and teachers who might want to set up a monster test activity in the Smart Lab, which is part of Smart Notebook 16.2. So I'm just going to talk you through how the monster quiz would go down in the classroom, and then we'll have a look at how you would set it up. So you would click on it, and obviously all these monsters are jumping about, and then you would click Start, and that would begin the whole process. You have a code here at the top right-hand side, and you would need to get all your students to log in either using a computer or using their mobile phones to the website classlab.com and then when they're on classlab.com they would type in your code for your session and they would also type in their name and then when they do that um, on the board itself you will have all of the names of everybody who has signed in so here are the names of the people that were at my training session and then I as the lecturer would click the board where it says divide into teams and decide how many teams I want to have and then once I've decided that all the names will automatically be put into the teams but if you wanted you could lift names over you know and rearrange the team so that's probably quite helpful to be able to do then as the lecturer I would click start test and then on their mobile phones or on their laptops these questions will start to come up um, and in this one I've gone for true or false but you've also got multiple choice as an option too so they are judged on the time they take to answer the question but also how accurate the question is so as the countdown happens then everybody's working away on their quiz in groups and up here on the board we can see these shapes growing and getting bigger and bigger according to how many correct answers these teams are getting and people's names can sort of jump up and you can see quite quickly who's winning um, so then once the game comes to an end um, then they put up who the kind of the winning team is so everybody can see that and then the students themselves on either their mobile our phones or their laptops will also be able to see who the winning team was um, and who else was in their team. So obviously it's relying on having a good internet connection and enough students you know with their mobile phones or tablets. When you go to class review you can see the stats you know of which of the teams did better, what their percentages were, um, so I think that's really helpful. Um, if you want to set up this activity you would need to have internet connection to do it and then when you come into this editing you've got the choice like I say multiple choice or true or false then you just type your question in choosing whether it's true or false and then you can start. So it's a pretty good feature.